Hi, my name's Hans-Peter Arf. And I'm Heidi Knutsen. And a lot of people have been asking us about microplastic and stuff they drink. So we thought we'd do a little experiment with this Norwegian drinking syrup. Yeah, so here we have three different flavors. We have orange, fruit mix and blueberry. And we don't think the flavor should have anything to say about the amount of plastic, but we're more interested in plastic from the cork and from the tap water. So what we're going to do just to check that out is we're not going to do anything with this first bottle. With the second bottle, we're going to open and close it 20 times to see if we generate microplastics. And this time, this one, the blueberry 200 times. <laughs> All right, let's science this. <laughs> Yes! Yes. <laughs> now we're going to filter this sap through a special filter that we use for microplastic analysis. in the microscope to see how many microplastic particles uh, we got. Now I'm by the FTIR microscope and we can use this to see what is the identity or what type of plastic or other material were those particles we saw in the microscope. So here I have this first particle you might recall from the uh, orange drink. And when I look at the identity, it turns out that it is, in fact, polyethylene from the cork, most likely. So now I'm looking at the blueberry saft sample, uh, which had uh, many fibers in it. And you can see this one here turned out to be a polyethylene polymer. Okay, so now we looked at our filtered samples with some the microscope and the FTIR microscope. And we'll just give you a brief summary of what we found. Yeah, so this is the orange sap sample, uh, which we didn't do anything with, but uh, anyway, we found plastics in it. For instance, this green polyethylene particle, which is probably originating from the cork. Yeah, and in the mixed uh, fruit sample, we saw, we visually it looked like more pieces uh, from opening and closing the cork 20 times. Um, and we also, with the FDR, we found that there was plastic cork pieces in there mainly, but we also had some fibers which weren't actually plastic but cotton and synthetic cotton. Yeah, and this is the blueberry sample or SAF which we opened and closed 200 times and you can clearly see an increase in the amount of particles. Uh, we found lots of different fibers uh, which you can see here, polyethylene pet fibers and polyethylene granulates and also some cotton fibers. Yeah. So it seems that opening and closing the cork this many times has an effect on the amount of plastic in the sample. Yeah, and uh, and also the pet fibers was poly it came from the bottle itself. So maybe we were really grinding both the cap and the bottle. So uh, yeah, folks, that's what you're drinking. Is drinking microplastics bad for you? Well, there's been a lot of research on this recently, and. The most recent says they can't really find or establish any risk or concern for humans. Um, but that doesn't mean we've answered all the questions about uh, plastic packaging. There's much research on some of the, contact, the, the chemicals we use in the packaging, and a lot of people are asking questions about nanoplastic residues. So we still have open questions to research. But that's all. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to recycle. <laughs>